I'm Ozzie Griffin doing a response to, uh, this is a response to Stateless Liberty. I'll be real brief because my battery's about to go. Mate, you've drained a perfectly good battery with me doing a response to this. Kudos. In short, you're wrong. You said some stuff and you linked to some stuff that frankly I find repugnant in your response. However, what really got in my crawl was your assumptions. You assumed that I want to hold a gun to people's heads. You assumed that I want to impose on people. No. There are ways to create cause of reserved people without imposition or force. And the fact that you don't understand how shows your blatant misunderstanding of human beings. You don't get them. I do. And let me tell you, it is literally child's play to disprove your assumptions about me. It's about taxation, that's what he mean. No, I did not mean taxation. It's about a state, that's what he wants. No, I do not want a state. Well, well, he's, he's holding a gun to my... No, I'm not holding a gun to anyone's head. That you can't understand how to generate things without force, fraud or coercion. It's a sad reflection on your mindset and your understanding of people. When you said that human beings are not the most important thing, that we shouldn't drop everything else to save another human being. When you talked about utility and you talked about efficiency. Now I get the test that some bumbling idiot bureaucrat who could do your job better than you or organize it better than you is a great test to have it against. Yes, you reflected what I just talked about in my graduated anarchy theory video. However, we don't need to tax people to get what we want and we don't need to lie to them and the fact that you don't understand the base of human nature which is that we are social animals that are very very helpful is a very sad thing to say about you and the other anarcho-capitalists and libertarians that fall into your category and especially this is why I went away from stateless liberty we need to feel compassion. And I understand I wasn't always like this. Once upon a time, I sounded like you. I was wrong. I said it. I was wrong then. I'll probably be wrong about things in the future. However, you've led me to an underst alternative understanding of economics that will, I think, could be held up as something better. Not a, the best way, just a better way. Because if utility and efficiency are all you value people for, then eventually everybody's going to fall short of what you value. So in a word, mate, you were wrong. You were working on flawed precepts and you didn't even have the good nature to ask me if that's what I meant. You just assumed. Well, you're wrong, and I'm about to do a video on Infinity Economics that's going to show you why you're wrong. Enjoy your break. You will not enjoy my next video, I guarantee it. It will make no sense to you. And this is going to separate the adults from the children, as far as economic theory goes, possibly for a very, very long time. Look forward to it, and it's not going to have mathematics.